This video is sponsored by Linode. Use the link down below for a $100 60-day credit. Hello, everybody. This is Tekka. If you watched my previous video on Ubuntu, you probably know I did not have a very good time. And one of the things here that I did not have a very good time with is the Ubuntu software store. It is a fork of the GNOME software store, and when you fork software, generally the goal is to change and improve it, and they did literally the exact opposite. This application is slow, buggy, crashes all the time, and for me, it honestly wouldn't even open half the time on my other system. Now, the Ubuntu Flutter community hopes to fix that with their unofficial Ubuntu store written in Flutter. Now, this is kind of cool because they're actually going to be switching over to Flutter as the code for the installer eventually someday. It's something they've been working on for quite a while, but this is currently an alpha level software. We can see their goals, which they've actually accomplished a good fair bit of them, including both Snap and Deb RPM support. And I did find out about this on OMG Ubuntu Fantastic blog. You should go ahead and check it out. But this says the unofficial Ubuntu software app is better than Ubuntu's actual one. And there's actually the alpha release available on their GitHub. So you can go ahead and download a archive and launch the binary. I have it downloaded right here. And all I need to do is double click right here to go ahead and open it up to kind of preview the software. And this is it. You can see some nice sleek animations. If we go over to update, we can see what needs to be updated. And overall, it just looks good. And because it's written in Flutter, it looks very similar to the installer they're working on. If we wanted to open something up real quick, let's say Notepad QQ, you can see nice little animations there. It gives us a good rundown of the information. Here we can change the channel. We could go ahead and drop down a description here to get some more information. We have the website and author details, the license and all that stuff. And actually installing applications works pretty well. So if I go ahead and type in my password, we can see it here beginning that installation process. And there we go. It said that the uh, Notepad QQ was installed from the uh, stable Snap repository. So if I go over to my apps, I could see that right there and I could remove and refresh it. And then if I go ahead and go here and search it up, you can see that the installation worked completely fine. Of course, being that this is a snap package, it might take a minute to open or just not open at all. <sighs> I can't record a video in Ubuntu without running into problems. There we go. It is installed, it just doesn't want to open. So whatever, I'm going to try to overlook that here. So right here under my apps, we can see all of our snap packages that are currently installed. And if we hit Debian packages over here, we could see what we have there. And of course you can manage things. So if I opened up bash here, I can remove it, which I would not recommend you do. And if we go back up to explore, let's search something real quick. So maybe MPV, probably one of the better media players available. And you can see everything comes up. Nice animations. If I go over to Debian packages, it doesn't load in all the icons and all that, but we have MPV right here. So if we wanted to install this as a dev package, instead of a snap package, we could install it here, type in our password. And right now we just have this animation. I do wish it would give us a, uh, like a progress bar with maybe a little option to see the actual, um, terminal or console to see exactly what it is doing. So that would be a, a cool thing in the future. And there we go. I think it finished up. And then if we go ahead and search it up, we can see MPV media player is currently installed. So really cool that you can kind of switch in between the two. And if we go back under explore, maybe snap packages, let's get rid of this. We have a uh, filter right here. So this is the snap filter. So you can, uh, categorize it right here under settings we don't have very much going on here it's alpha if we go under about you can see some more information right here overall great little utility and i do already like it as the omg ubuntu article states i do believe it is already better than the uh, current ubuntu software center even in its alpha state something that's kind of cool about it and somebody over here mentioned it in the comments right here started by an ubuntu fan in 2021 a few other people joined in and then three months ago a official canonical employee started contributing and they started doing in-depth interviews of users regarding snaps and if we actually go over here to the contributors this is all of them and i think who was the ubuntu employee i think it's this person yeah ubuntu team member right here so it would be nice if they do kind of switch out to something better like this and being that it is written in flutter i do see that being an actual possibility being that they're wanting to use the flutter for the installer and this is already something that exists and it's getting those contributions from official ubuntu team members and if you go down here there's a lot of other uh, spicy takes in the comments so if you want some mind rot you could uh go down here and 
we'll get some people arguing with each other. Overall, it is projects like this that truly make open source great. Even if you disagree with how a project is going or what they're doing with their products, there's bound to be somebody out there who has a better idea, who's willing to put in the work to make those better ideas come to reality. So that's really about it. If you do actually want to download this and try it out, I didn't try it on anything other than this uh, Ubuntu virtual machine and boxes here, but all you got to do is go over to software, go to releases, and we can see the screenshots here. This is what it looks like in dark mode, which is very nice. We have updates here. We have what's changed and under assets, all you do is open that up, download this alpha zip, and just for giggles, let's go ahead and update our system with this. If I keep, if I can stop getting these uh, periodic freezes that Ubuntu tends to give me, whether if I'm on hardware or a virtual machine. There we go. Okay. So here, let's do update selected, type in our password. Ooh, and it looks like we actually get a progress bar with this one. If Ubuntu does go with this eventually someday as their actual uh, software center, please give Flatpak the availability. You don't have to enable it by default but make it an option within this at least, please. But yeah, everything's up to date. If I refresh that, beautiful little animations. Again, if my thing wouldn't stop freezing. It's not the software, it's the actual whole operating system. <laughs> but with that, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by Linode. I use it to host my website, techcut.tv, and any other instances in the cloud that I want. It's real easy to set up a wide variety of Linux distributions, including Arch, Ubuntu, CentOS and many others, and they have a bunch of one-click installers to get services up and running with ease, such as Nextcloud, Minecraft Game Server, much more. So again, use the link down below for a $100 60-day credit, and with all that, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.